Hi everyone, I'm back with some vaccine news you can use. As of September 29th, 73% of Chicagoans 12 plus have received a first dose of vaccine. That's 63% of 12 to 17 year olds and 75.2% of 65 plus. And as of last Friday, we also have boosters to add to the mix. So we'll show some data on that in the next video. As we've been saying for a while, in order to actually stop COVID transmission and reduce severe disease, initiating or completing the primary series is still the most critical intervention. With data through September 29th, only a few days into the new booster rec, we don't see a huge bump in the number of vaccines administered, but a slight increase in hospital administered vaccines. The majority is still happening at pharmacies. Our goal is to get to 77% first dose coverage for every neighborhood in the city, which is in the dark blue on this map. This means we need a concerted effort in our lowest coverage neighborhoods to approach vaccine equity in every corner of the city. The mayor's office has launched the 77 pledge to have community leaders like you take a pledge to do everything we can to get 77% of Chicagoans 12 plus in every neighborhood to start their COVID-19 vaccine series by the end of the year. For completed series, we have a much longer way to go. And again, this shows how much work we still need to do recalling patients with incomplete series, and that's even outside of starting boosters. So there's a lot on our plate. In an MMWR published October 1st, an analysis of the National Immunization Survey adult COVID module found that compared with adults without a disability, those with a disability, defined as serious difficulty seeing, hearing, walking, remembering, making decisions, or communicating, had a lower likelihood of having received COVID-19 vaccination with an age-adjusted prevalence ratio of 0.88, despite being less likely to report hesitancy about getting vaccinated. So they want to be vaccinated, but their vaccine coverage levels are much lower. Adults with a disability reported more difficulties obtaining a COVID-19 vaccine than did persons without a disability. So drop a note to your patients with disabilities, and if they haven't been vaccinated yet, please refer them to our Protect Chicago at Home program by calling 312-746-4835 or have them visit chicago.gov slash at home. So here's something you may not know. Did you know that CDC is tracking your vaccine finder inventory? Yeah, we found out this week and it's a little scary. So if your inventory looks larger than it actually is on vaccine finder, they think that you're stockpiling vaccine. So this, we learned, could lead to an ordering pause for the entire city if enough providers seem to have large stockpiles. So let's think about ways to manage this and make sure that that doesn't happen. So we're gonna dive into the exciting topic of vaccine expiration and inventory. Most importantly, you have well-trained staff and a process in place to regularly check your inventory, since expired vaccines and diluents must be removed immediately from storage units to avoid giving them by accident. And then report your waste. Waste is an expected part of any vaccination program. As time passes and administration of vaccine doses increase, the reported levels of waste will also increase. The reporting of wasted doses does not reflect negatively on your practice. Find more guidance on disposal and reporting at the website here. Here are some other tips. Any vial of J&J &J that has a date prior to September 23rd, 2021 has now expired. There will be no more extension. Remember to always check the expiration date lookup website. Moderna may announce shelf life extensions as early as this week. So please do not dispose of expired Moderna until there is a decision made on that. CDC recommends checking their website at the beginning of October, which is right now. As another service for your patients, go to chicago.gov flu to find over 50 free COVID flu clinics around the city, if that's helpful for your patients. 
High-dose flu will be available for seniors. Thanks for listening.